Hey guys, it's Jasmine here. Um, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for coming. As a new YouTuber, I greatly appreciate it. Um, also, I would ask that you would bear with me as I am new here, so I'm probably gonna be looking at myself a lot, probably gonna be like fidgeting and touching my hair. I don't, I'm not thinking about it. I just do it, so I apologize. I'll get better, hopefully. So, just a little bit of background. I just graduated from BYU. I have a four-year bachelor's of Bachelor of Science degree in family studies, and I loved it. I loved everything I learned. I'm very passionate about the family and just individual wellness and that sort of thing. But school was just really exhausting for me. It was, you know, it just didn't come as easy to me as it did for others, especially at a school like this one that's very competitive. Everyone everyone there are like overachievers and that's just not me. I was a decent student, but I never felt adequate enough. So just like, just graduating this past spring, I didn't want to rush into finding a career. I didn't even stress about it, which is unlike me. I usually worry about these kind of things, but I just wanted to relax, have fun, and um, travel, just do something really chill. So I decided this summer that I would apply to be a lifeguard at the water park near me. It's just walking distance, and I did it. I am a certified lifeguard, if you couldn't already tell by the title. I'm my uniform. I say that like it's some huge accomplishment, but literally 15 year olds can do it. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to be talking about the seven secrets about lifeguards you probably didn't know. And I'm going to be referring to things that I've personally experienced or others around me have told me about. This is not all lifeguards. We're not all the same. This isn't what we're taught. This is just kind of things I've picked up on so far being a lifeguard. Yeah, you get the gist. So secret number one is we do not wash our hair every day. I don't. <laughs> it's just so much work. And that sounds disgusting because there's the sun, there's sweat, there's chlorine, and who knows what else. But it's just a lot of work, especially if you have as much hair as I do. It's just really long and thick. Oh gosh, here come the jokes. Okay, <laughs> anyway. So yeah, it just doesn't seem very, like, it just doesn't seem like it makes sense to wash your hair every single day. Although I have heard that if you're a lifeguard and you don't wash it that often, it can turn green. And I hope that doesn't happen to me because I would not look good with green hair. But so far, so good. All right secret number two so it's similar we don't shave every day it's just another difficult well not difficult maybe i'm just lazy maybe maybe i'm just like extremely low maintenance but maybe some other lifeguard i don't know because some girls can go a month without shaving and they are hairless but my hair grows back so quickly i probably shave once every four days or so once four or five once every four or five days something like that but um yeah, it's just a lot of work. I don't want to have to shave every time I go into work. So yeah, that's secret number two. Secret number three is, um, it's going to sound scary, but hear me out. Um, so starting off, a lot of us have no idea what we're doing. Like, it's, it's just like any other job. You have the training and you're starting off in some place new. You're just trying to get into the rhythm of things and you still feel like you have a lot of questions and you're like, can I really do this in this situation? It, and it's a lot of pressure if, um, if someone's life is on your hands. Thankfully, that's not um, very common for people to be in such life-threatening situations, but we have that training just in case. And we are tested very regularly for our our knowledge and our physical fitness so you don't have to worry about this and if worse comes to worse if a lifeguard doesn't know what to do there are plenty of other lifeguards around that can help supervisors and all that jazz so you don't have to worry about it secret number four is once you have gained the confidence after having some experience lifeguarding which i i feel pretty confident once you gain that experience you sort of kind of are hoping to go rescue someone and this sounds bad because of course none of us want anyone to get hurt no, none of us want anyone to um, be in any grave danger or anything like that but I mean if we went through all this training 
we want to be able to put it to use, especially like, I mean, we just invested so much. We, we paid to get certified for this kind of thing. We have practiced so many times. We just want to be able to help someone with the skills that we've been able to acquire through, um, through lifeguarding. So it's not that we want you guys to drown or anything, but um, that's why we have audits at my water park. They are, my supervisors would test us every day. Um, they pretend they're drowning and we have to go save them. And they're different scenarios. Like if someone has a, sp a suspected spinal injury, you're gonna treat that differently than someone who's just actively drowning. If you guys wanna know all these lingo or like just more information about becoming a lifeguard, let me know and I'll make another video about it. So yeah. secret number five is going to sound bad on my part as well. So hopefully if my supervisors are watching, please wait till I finish what I'm saying because I don't wanna get fired. <laughs> I promise I'm doing my job correctly. So secret number five is that sometimes we pretend like we don't see that our guests are breaking the rules. Now, this is only at first, like the very first minute or so. Um, and they're for small things. They're not for anything that can put people in a lot of danger. They're just kind of things like, for example, at my water park, we have a wave pool and we don't allow any toys in there. So sometimes, okay, the main reason why I pretend I, I don't see that is because I don't want to come off as a pool Nazi. I just don't want to like, I want people to feel comfortable and not annoyed by me if that makes sense and the other reason is that especially if it's like a little kid with their parents I just want them to have like just a little moment of fun and obviously you have to like you have to decide um, when you're going to do this or not like there are just certain toys that are more dangerous and others but like sometimes I see like a little tiny dart and someone's like throwing it around or pretending it's like a fish or something that I can let someone slide with just for a small moment and then I'll tell them, hey, we don't allow anything in here, pretty much. Secret number six. <laughs> I'm sure you're all wondering, yes, we do check out the good looking people in the pool, but we do have to scan at all times so it won't be for very long, which I guess is a good thing because we're kind of stealthy about it. We're not like just staring at them. <laughs> We constantly have to be looking, and I do do this, I promise. Supervisors, if you're watching, even more reason not to fire me. <laughs> um, I am scanning the pool the entire time, but if I do see someone that catches my eye that's good looking, I'll be like, mm. and then I just keep scanning. So yes, we do check out the, the guests in the pool. And last but not least, secret number seven, Lifeguarding is just the best job ever, you guys. If you've ever considered doing it because it's just been something you've always wanted to do, like myself, go ahead and do it. Like, why not? I usually am not the kind of person that just impulsively does this, but I decided to apply and then immediately got into the swim test and the training and all that, and then I don't regret it. It's just been a lot of fun. So... Thank you so much for watching. For those of you who are also lifeguards, let me know what I missed in the comments down below. Please share this video and subscribe, like, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!